Well, welcome back. Are you planning any trips for the summer? If so, are you planning ahead for packing? That's one of the tips offered by experts. Let's just plan ahead. Yeah, I actually talked with one of those experts, Maggie Mee of the Trunk Club, to get a little advice to make it easier and lighter for your next trip. Sixty-five percent have a hard time packing for a trip. In fact, we found that the only thing more stressful is getting through airport security. So whether you're flying or driving, we want to make sure that the stress is gone from the beginning so that you can be stress-free before your vacation. You know, I have some tips today that will help you out. You know, Maggie, I got to tell you, I'm one of those people that um, I pack too much because I always think, oh, I might need this or I might need this. So I definitely yep. need some tips from you. <laughs> yes. So you're not alone. Uh, we did a survey of 2,000 American travelers and found that a quarter of every suitcase is left untouched. So we're definitely overpacking. How can you do more with less? That is the biggest thing. So on the look behind me, the first look is a top and pant option with a jacket. These are super versatile items that you can create different looks by mixing and matching with other things in your suitcase. So you don't have to bring three pairs of pants if you're gone for three days. Bring one to two and change up the tops, which are typically smaller and can pack more easily, and create a whole new look from that. Our second look is a midi dress with a jacket. Totally take that from day to night by removing the jacket, swapping out a clutch instead of the tote, and you have a nice night look. So you can take your look from day to night through accessories and change up that outfit. That, those two things will help you do more with less items. Now I, I would also say pack ahead of time. Yeah, I do have to ask you about that hat. I really do because I yeah. love hats and I'm horrible at packing them. How do you recommend we pack our hats? I would wear it on the plane. Ah, uh -huh. good that advice. Way you don't have to worry about it. Same with your jacket. If you're bringing a lightweight jacket, wear that on the plane, wear that in the car. That way, you know, it's always chilly. <laughs> you can layer on and off and you don't have to pack those big, hard to pack items. Awesome, awesome advice. Now you are about ready to give us yet another tip, so let me let you do that. Yes. Yes, start the process early. You don't want to leave it till the last minute because then you're more likely to throw in items that you don't need and forget things that you do. We found that three out of five travelers actually had to purchase on vacation because they didn't have the right items. So start the planning process early. When you're thinking about the activities that you're going to do on your trip, think about the outfits that you want to wear with that activity. That way it'll feel like a streamlined process and it'll get you excited for the trip instead of feeling like packing is a chore. But I would recommend looking at the weather right before you leave to make sure you're still packed appropriately. Good advice indeed. So if we've got someone watching who thinks, okay, I like these ideas and they want some more, where should they go? You can visit trunkclub.com to get more survey results, more packing trips, and also you can be connected with one of our very own personal stylists.